hello everyone you are welcome to how to simplify this very nice radical expression fifth root of 400 over root 5 plus 176 so let's start first we suppose that uh, this expression is equal to x let x is equal to fifth root of 400 divided by root 5 plus 176 if we take a 5 power on both sides this will become x to the power 5 is equal to 400 divided by root 5 plus 176 now we rationalize the denominator of this expression this will become x to the power 5 is equal to 400 divided by root 5 to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide by root 5 this plus 176 remains same plus 176 next x to the power 5 is equal to 400 times root 5 will become 400 root 5 divided by root 5 times uh, root 5 will become 5 plus uh, 176 and this uh, 5 1 time 5 uh, 80 times uh, 400 so this will become x to the power 5 is equal to 80 times uh, root 5 plus uh, 176 now we suppose that uh, y to the power 5 is equal to 80 times uh, root 5 minus 176 and from this equation we subtract this equation we copy this equation here y to the power 5 is equal to 80 times root 5 minus 176 and we subtract these two equations since we are subtracting this positive sign will become negative this negative sign will become positive in this get cancelled out and we are left with uh, x to the power 5 minus uh, y to the power 5 is equal to 176 plus 176 will become 352 let's call this equation equation number 1 now we multiply these two equations uh, x to the power 5 is equal to 80 times root 5 plus 176 and this uh, y to the power 5 is equal to 80 times root 5 minus uh, 176 so this will become x to the power 5 times uh, y to the power 5 is equal to 80 times uh, root 5 plus uh, 176 times uh, 80 times uh, root 5 minus 176 this can be written as uh, x times y whole to the power 5 is equal to this will become 80 times uh, root 5 whole squared minus 176 squared next x times uh, y whole to the power 5 is equal to this uh, 80 squared is uh, 6400 and 6400 times 5 will become 32,000 minus 176 squared is equal to 30,976 and this will become x times y whole to the power 5 is equal to 1024 and this is same as uh, 4 to the power 5 if we take a fifth root on both sides this will become x times y is equal to 4 let's call this equation equation number 2 from this equation if we find the value of y this will become y is equal to 4 over x and in this equation we replace this y with this uh, 4 over x so this uh, equation number 1 will become x to the power 5 minus 
4 over x to the power 5 is equal to 352. Now we suppose that x minus 4 over x is equal to a. Since this expression at the right hand side is greater than 0, so this x must be greater than 0. x must be greater than 0. And x must be greater than 0, so this a must be, a must be greater than 0. Now first we square both sides of this equation. This will become x minus 4 over x whole squared is equal to a squared. This will become x squared plus 4 over x whole squared minus 2 times x times 4 over x is equal to a squared. This a will be considered with this a. And this will become x squared plus 16 over x squared minus 2 times 4, 8 is equal to a squared and x squared plus 16 over x squared is equal to a squared plus 8. Take cube of both sides of this equation. This will become x minus 4 over x whole cubed is equal to a cubed. This will become x cubed minus 4 over x cubed minus 3 times x times 4 over x times x minus 4 over x is equal to a cubed. This x will be considered with this x and we replace this x minus 4 over x with this a. So this will become x cubed minus this will become 64 over x cubed minus 12 times a is equal to a cubed. Move this 12a to the right hand side this will become x cubed minus 64 over x cubed is equal to a cubed plus 12 times a. Now we multiply this equation by this equation so this will become x squared plus 16 over x squared times x cubed minus 64 over x cubed is equal to a squared plus 8 times a cubed plus 12 times a. Now this x squared times x cubed will become x to the power 5. And this x squared times negative 64 over x cubed will become negative 64 over x. And 16 over x squared times x cubed will become plus 16 times x. And uh, 16 over x squared times uh, negative 64 over x cubed will become negative. This uh, 16 is same as 4 squared. And this uh, 64 is same as uh, 4 cubed. So this will become 4 to the power 5 divided by x to the power 5 is equal to a squared times a cubed will become a to the power 5 and a squared times 12a will become plus 12a cubed h times a cubed 8a cubed and h times 12a plus 96a combine these two terms this will become x to the power 5 minus this 4 to the power 5 over x to the power 5 is same as 4 over x whole to the power 5 and from these two terms we can factor out plus 16 in bracket left x minus 4 over x is equal to a to the power 5 this 12a cubed plus 8a cubed will become plus 20a cubed plus 96 times a 
now in this equation we replace this uh, x minus 4 over x and this uh, x to the power 4 minus uh, 4 over x whole to the power 5 with these values uh, x minus 4 over x is equal to a and uh, x to the power 5 minus 4 over x whole to the power 5 is equal to 352. This expression is equal to 352 plus 16 times this is equal to a is equal to a to the power 5 plus 20 a cubed plus 96 a move these two terms to the right hand side this will become a to the power 5 plus 20 a cubed 96 a minus 16 a will become plus 80 times a minus 352 is equal to 0 now in this equation if we check a is equal to 2 in this equation then this will become 32 plus 8 times 20 is 160 plus 160 minus 352 is equal to 0 and we add these 3 this will become positive 352 minus 352 is 0 it means that this a is equal to 2 is a solution of this equation which means that a minus 2 is a factor of this equation so we can rewrite this equation as a to the power 5 we subtract 2 a to the power 4 and we add 2 a to the power 4 and we write this 20 a cubed as negative 4 a cubed plus 24 a cubed we subtract 48 a squared and we add 48 a squared and we write this plus 80 a as a negative 96 times a plus 176 times a minus this 352 is equal to 0 from these two terms we can factor out a to the power 4 in back left a minus 2 plus uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out uh, 2 a cubed in back left uh, a minus 2 from these two terms uh, we can factor out uh, plus uh, 24 a squared in back left uh, a minus 2 from these two terms uh, we can factor out uh, plus uh, 40 a times a in back left uh, a minus 2 and from these two terms we can factor out 176 in back left a minus 2 is equal to 0 as you can see this expression a minus 2 is a common factor so we factor out this a minus 2 and in back left a to the power 4 plus 2 a cubed plus 24 a squared plus 48 times a plus 176 is equal to 0 from here either this expression a minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression a to the power 4 plus 2 a cubed plus 24 a squared plus 48 times a plus 176 is equal to 0 and as we discussed earlier that uh, a must be greater than 0 since uh, we have all terms uh, positive this equation can only be true if uh, a is uh, less than 0 so we reject this equation and from this equation we get the value of a is equal to 2 now recall that we have suppose We have supposed that uh, x minus 4 over x is equal to a. We have supposed that uh, x minus uh, 4 over x is equal to a. So a is 2, this will become x minus uh, 4 over x is equal to 2. If we multiply by x uh, both sides, this will become x squared minus 4 
is equal to 2 times x. Move this 2x to the left hand side, this will become x squared minus 2 times x minus 4 is equal to 0. x squared minus 2 times x, we add 1 and subtract 1. This negative 4 is equal to 0. Now this x squared minus 2x plus 1 is a perfect square. This will become x minus 1 whole squared is equal to this negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5 at right hand side this will become positive 5 and we take a square root of both sides so this square will be considered with the square root and at left hand side we are left with the x minus 1 is equal to plus minus root 5 move this negative 1 to the right hand side this will become x is equal to 1 plus minus root 5. From here we get uh, two values of x. x is equal to 1 plus uh, root 5 and x is equal to 1 minus root 5. As we discussed earlier that x must be greater than 0. This uh, 1 minus root 5 is less than 0 so this will be rejected and we accept this value of x uh, 1 plus uh, root 5. Since we have supposed that x is equal to fifth root of 400 over root 5 plus 176. So this expression is equal to 1 plus root 5. This is the final answer of this problem.